Hey everybody, hey here's today's video. I am over at the uh, barn edition and you can see right here, I built a door, um, one of three doors, this is the first. It's actually 14 and a half feet tall by 14 and a half feet wide. Um, I figured I'd do a quick video because I'm sure there's other people like me who are gonna be doing a project like this and if I can help somebody out and give them, give them some information, that's you know what it's all about. But just real quick here, I made a frame around the whole door. It's out of two by sixes, okay? Um, how do I explain this easily? So the frame is made out of two by sixes. These vertical pieces here are two by six, and there's two by four is going across for support just to hold it together. After the frame was made, I, squ I, made, I squared it up, and I put that quarter inch AC plywood over it. And then I put my, you know, one inch, I think it's one inch thick, seven inch thick uh, shiplap, the siding over the front, which I'll show you in a minute. But it, just real quick here, this is what I did. This is a, my hand sketch of my door. This is my top piece right here, the, the two by six. I didn't go all the way across. I went, I have two of our verticals that go from top to bottom. And um, I have a roller mounted here a roller in the center here, a roller mechanism for the track here, and another roller on the end. The reason why I did this is this roller, if I did a, a two by six across the top straight, everything's kind of hanging off the, it's just hanging. Uh, this way, this roller here is, is, is bolted to this piece. So I think it's better support. Instead of the whole door hanging from the top only, it's, it's to me, it makes more sense. And I think you guys will understand it also. But um, that's what I did, four rollers. The rollers are actually rated 900 pounds each, and there's four of them, so and the door has gotta be 1,000 pounds. It, it's, 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 it's a big door. And what I did here, um, these are one of my latches, one of two of my latches. It's like an over center type latch, if you look at it. See, it's really nice. It's adjustable. That kind of keeps the door pulled in from blowing out in the wind. I actually put two of these on, one on each side. And that just comes off like that. And like I say, the door rolls very easy. I'll roll it right now real quick here. Before I go too far, let me just show you quick here. Here's a view of it from the outside. Um, like I say, 14 by and a half by 14 and a half, 30 feet of uh, track on top. There's my four rollers. Um, I'm, I've had some pipe hanging around, so I put it together, welded up a handle for it, and it makes it nice and easy to move. I made a catch here, I guess you can say like a pocket. So when you close it, I'll show you real quick here. That door slides right into, right into it. It works out, works beautiful. That kind of that's great because when the wind blows in from the backside, it really keeps the door from from uh, swinging out. I put a pipe in the ground over here also. This is going to be just temporary, but I need to get a longer pipe. Uh, that's straight half feet, but my footings are 42 inches, so it's it's actually loose because it's just it's just fresh backfill. But I have that pipe there to kind of keep the the bottom from swinging out, and it does work really well. Don't get me wrong, it works out beautiful. It rolls beautiful, uh, very little effort. And I made a pocket, like a stop down the end there. So it catches the door. Uh, Cause I don't want the, you know, the rollers from sliding off. I might put a bolt in there for extra safety. But that was just kind of a quick overview of what I've done. I saw a couple of uh, videos on YouTube. There's not a whole lot of videos on large sliding doors, wooden doors. Um, what I what I found also is this piece right here is a lifesaver because what I've done let me get my pieces I'll show you guys I have a box of screws if I can find it yeah it's over here the way I screwed this door together the frame together I think it's quarter inch by ten these screws right here and I screwed all my two by six together. You can see right here where my two by four goes together. The whole thing, it's all screwed together with these 10 inch screws. But getting these 10 inch screws 
in by by eye is kind of tough because if you're off a little bit over 10 inches that thing's gonna be popping out so i actually got an idea from not an idea i saw a video of another guy on youtube and i gave him a quick email asking the, the, the device he had this is what he had and it's actually pretty smart it's basically just a drill guide and you basically you put your that little notch right there is for the two by six to go in i'm gonna show you real quick here real fast the way it works is that you put this notch on the two by six twist it it automatically finds center and i just kept it straight you can see if it's off a little bit this way i kept it straight and this thing here is just a i'll show you real quick here just a like a, like a drill press guarantees that the, the drill because what it goes in straight because what i did i have um pre-drilled all the holes because i want the wood to split so this was a lifesaver so if you're going to do it home i think it was home depot or no maybe amazon i got that one there it was cheap it was like 25 dollars but like i said that's about it right now you can feel this wind coming through here right now it's crazy so i need to get these other two doors on because that wind is it wants to push that door uh out what happened i've been putting that round bale up against the outside just to hold it so the next project is i have my material right here is to put two more doors on the back it's gonna be a little more challenging because this door is easy it's gonna slide to the left out of the way. this door is gonna also slide past this door and uh be parallel with this uh, this, uh, this other door over here so i gotta bring this track out a little bit further but uh, it's gonna work out perfect though but I wanted to give everybody a quick uh, showing tour, just to kind of show everybody what I've done, and it, it worked beautiful. Uh, the conveyor track and the uh, rollers made by Richard Wilcox. It's heavy duty. I think it's not. Yeah, it's 900 pound capacity on each roller, so uh, it worked out really well. It rolls smooth. Really, you know, I was I was told from a couple of people that you're never gonna be able to uh, slide the door. It's gonna be too heavy, but I disagree. It's perfect. So, anyways. I want to just kind of show everybody what I've done, what I've done, how I've done it. Any questions? Give me a, give me a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys later.